advocate for how difficult it is to use gender neutral pronouns. Nobody said that the gender binary was f***ing easy. These are not my preferred pronouns. These are my pronouns. You will use them or you will not refer to me at all. If you misgender me by mistake, fix it and move on. I don't need your elaborate apology. I don't care how many times you say sorry. Just don't do it again. Moreover, if someone else misgenders me, it is never your job to tell them that it's okay. Cause it isn't. I get it, the discussion of the gender spectrum confuses you and that's fine, but if you don't know anything about it, don't f***ing speak on it. He's an angry elf. <laughs> we keep seeing this over and over again where these poor young men are just so full of anger and hate. It's sad, really. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Quick video today. We're just going to catch up on what's happening over in the wacky world of woke TikTok. And also, I have a new story to show you guys. It is uh, about a trans woman, right? Trans woman who gets kicked out of a, <clears throat> excuse me, a woman's health club, a woman's fitness center, and is extremely offended by that. Trust me, you don't want to miss this story. I... Stay tuned for that. Before we get into it, if you'll place your attention on the screen for a moment. So I saw this picture going around the Twitters, and it's a section of a library with all these books, and they look like little kids' books, like picture books, and they got little kids on them, and it's the girl with two dads. It's one's this book is gay, one's uh, what's the T, uh, pride, have pride. So there, it, it looks like children's books, right? It looks like a children's section, children's books. And all these books are for the LDB, LPD, damn it. LGDP, LGT, LBT, LGBTQ2 plus. I'm fairly certain that's exactly what I just said. Anyway, so it seems to be that they're pushing this stuff on kids right they're all kids books so if they ever try to tell you no 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 we're not aiming this at kids i mean really really i can't tell the gay agenda is coming home the gay agenda is here so yeah there's an agenda i didn't say it they said it they said it anyway this, this next one is a teacher shocking shocking i know i know um who freely admits that she wants to bring her political ideology into the classroom and cause unrest roll the film please i had my first day as a sub today and there are many things i'd like to talk about but today i would like to talk about how i am the political unrest that cedar city needs so besides the fact that I dyed my hair purple last night and I have two visible tattoos, I wrote my pronouns as she any up on the board. I was teaching 10th grade and I told this to all my classes and it wasn't until the last period where someone was like, what's the second pronoun? And so I explained, I was like, I do she any pronouns. I do go by any pronouns, she, he, they, it, anything, but I am totally okay with you just referring to me as she. And they were kind of confused about it for a minute. And I was like, and you can't misgender me. So don't even think about it. I do respond to all genders. And this one kid just like looks down and goes, IQ 1000, my guy. Iconic, thank you. And I just realized that my hydro flask is in this video. And that's my I don't care what the Bible says sticker, which I forgot I left up at the front of the classroom when I was in the back office. What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot <laughs> i couldn't keep up with what she was rambling on about all i know is that lady shouldn't be anywhere near a classroom or a school for that matter or children <laughs> all right this next one is i don't know the sound on this one's kind of janky i don't know what's wrong with this fella but it's another one of these young men who are very very angry like the first one we saw roll the film please as a non-binary person who uses they them pronouns, there are three things that you can do when you misgender somebody. Number one, apologize, but not too much. Number two, very quickly correct yourself using the right pronouns. And number three, move on from the conversation. I know that misgendering is going to happen um, because of my non-binary pronouns. And so I'm not a he, him or a she, her. And so as 
as society moves on, hopefully that will get less frequent, but I know that things are going to happen, so I'm not going to berate you for it as long as you correct yourself. And so I'm not a he, him, or a she, her. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so that young fellow wasn't as angry and full of rage as the one in the very first clip with the orange hair, but still, it seems like... Uh, I don't know, these people don't seem happy to me. And I don't know if there's any correlation between that and them talking about I'm not a she, her, or a he, him, and my pronouns are they, them, and it is, and Z, Z, or, I don't know. Potato, potato, right? Anyway, this next one is peak lunacy. Roll the film. Period poverty doesn't just affect women. Two spirits, trans men, non binary people, and genderqueer people can all have periods. And arguably, period poverty may be higher in these populations. Here's why. You ever seen a tampon dispenser or a box of free tampons in a men's bathroom? What about a period aisle not labeled feminine hygiene or pink boxes all around it? Periods can be a really tough and dangerous time for people that aren't cisgender women. So if you're donating period products or putting them out in your workplace or school, make sure they're in all bathrooms. Or at least that all people have access to these products. Because blood has no gender, baby. Are you f***ing crazy? Huh? <laughs> Cool goggles. This is another one of these crazy people that think men can menstruate. Um, and the scary thing about this is this idea has gone mainstream, as we've seen in my last video, where a politician, I think it was in Minnesota, was speaking in front of I don't know, I don't know what kind of meeting or uh, conference or convention or whatever that was, um, talking about uh, literally putting these dispensers, these tampon dispensers, and such. In the men's restrooms. Keep it moving. We're going to be ending it in just a few minutes. A little shorter than usual today, but uh, and I got that new story coming ahead. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's coming right up. We don't have any sponsors for today's video, so if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said, said video unless stated otherwise by you. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes. That is you guys. Now, I saw this tweet and I... we're doomed. We're doomed. I was just talking about mainstream. A mainstream idea is putting uh, tampon dispensers in the men's bathroom. Check this tweet out from the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. Aerospace is for everyone, and the language we use matters. We launched an agency-wide initiative to adopt gender-neutral and inclusive aviation terminology. Watch the Inclusive Language Summit at... I don't think I'll be watching that summit. How crazy is this? We're talking about aviation. We're not, we don't need to talk about gender-neutral, inclusive, diversity, equity. None of that. Talk about aviation, please. This is crazy. This needs to stop. We need to put a stop to this. This is insanity. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> I can see it now in the future with the FAA. They're going to come on and make an announcement and say, yes, the plane crash is still under investigation. We do not know the cause yet. Unfortunately, all passengers and crew did perish on a positive note. Nobody was misgendered. <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap it up on this news story, guys. And I have a feeling things are just going to continue to get crazier and crazy out there. And I'm going to do my best to keep you guys all up to date on just how crazy it's getting out there in clown world. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, I got about a 30-second clip to play um, at the end of this. So it says, I was extremely devastated. Transgender woman told she is not allowed to use women-only gym in Parksville. So I'm going to play that clip. And like I said, guys, things are really getting crazy out there. So please, please, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll the film, please. 28-year-old Bridget Klein Simpson has identified as a woman for years, and she wants to get into better shape, so she went to the Body Works Gym for Women in Parksville for a membership. Klein Simpson says she was initially welcomed, but after one workout, she was informed she was not allowed at the women's only gym saying, sorry, we made a mistake. You're not actually allowed to be here, but you're more than welcome to use the co-ed facility. And uh, I kind of just hung up because uh, I was, I mean, I was extreme, ext devastated. I mean, there's really no other word for it. That ain't no woman. It's a man, baby.
That is weird. Just a big bulge in your pants. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone pick. And you ain't black. It